I cultivated an interest in medical education and technology during my training years, authoring a book and also being involved in a number of different medical uh, curriculum projects. In addition, uh, as a mentor to junior trainees and surgeons, I noticed there was a key trend emerging, that trainees preferred small bite-sized bits of information, and this is really where I felt touch surgery fitted in. I've had a long commitment to training, both in the UK and also in Singapore. I'm currently part of Singapore National Eye Centre's Eye Residency core faculty, and I've trained over nine fellows who are now consultants in their own right. In our field, the emergence of optical coherence tomography techniques have revolutionised the way we treat and manage eye disease. As well as that, new laser systems promise new precision in the treatment of patients with cataract. Intraoperative imaging is still in its infancy, but it certainly made some improvements to both cataract and cornea refractive surgery. Also, smaller gauge instruments have enabled better surgery through smaller incisions. Experienced trainers sometimes forget how they learnt the surgery themselves and expect a very high standard from the junior trainees. The traditional see one, do one, teach one notion is now outdated and we must look at new ways to make surgeons competent quickly whilst maintaining patient safety. I've seen the changes in both the Singapore and the UK system of training transition into a more fairer competency-based system. This has led to more mentoring and more supervision leading to a better environment for learning. Junior surgeons now have less time in the operating theatre and are under even more pressure to succeed. On the other hand, there has been a broad recognition that surgical training needs to change and embrace innovative ways to train and learn. Some training programmes are now purchasing expensive simulator machines and altering the surgical curricula. Contextual information from wearables will certainly be more commonplace and aid the surgeons of the future. Surgical training will move into the virtual reality sphere and simulation will become commonplace prior to operating on patients.